Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we have captured Malta, which is pretty huge. Uh, we've got a can't trade error. I think we're still over on the old... Uh, yeah, we are. Um, although, yeah, the main is finished. We just keep butting up against it. Probably repairs. Uh, we've got quite a few ships in for repairs at the moment. Um, but yeah, now that we've taken... Malta. I'm just going to move this ship, this fleet in here very quickly, uh, just for a month, just to get some few. I know I'll be way over the port capacity, but we can't afford it. It's fine. Uh, there's no battles this month at all. Uh, we don't have uh, a blockade against the British, but I think if I move half of these ships to the channel then that might actually work um, and we should get Fiji soonish a couple of months to get Fiji um, otherwise there's not much going on at the moment there's a single Chinese like cruiser over there um, we're really just hoping that Britain gives up. I mean, Spain is back in the water. How many ships does Spain have? Um, and the fleet that's in Malta is is going to, I think, end up um, blockading Austria-Hungary again. Um, oh, my God. Uh, yeah, France's economy is still hanging on by a thread. Um, 28 ships. Okay, five battleships, two battle cruisers. Not ending great britain has nothing literally nothing um <laughs> just ridiculous right go on to the next turn bum, bum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're blockading them. <laughs> that, I thought Germany was already at war with Britain. Oh, so confusing. Um, I've been trying to think what the um, devs can do about the alliance system. They removed the box up here in the top left, which I think is a really good move. Um, I think that box was basically not doing anything for anybody um are we just in a massive alliance now let's have a look actually <laughs> italy italy is the only country not involved <laughs> so you know we have now have a grand alliance of the united states germany russia and japan against britain france Austria, Hungary, Spain, and China. Oh, geez. Oh, we have a task. Have a fight up here in the Adriatic, eh? Um, Delaware, Montana, and the others. This is the this is the ships that are in Malta against well, a bunch of cruisers. The uh, Austro-Hungarians do love their cruisers, but yeah, if we can maintain that blockade of Britain and France. Get Austria-Hungary blockaded. We might be able to blockade Spain as well, relatively easily. If I can find some spare ships to do it. Um, yeah, this could uh, end up being pretty nasty. Yeah, the other two older ships. Yeah, the Montana and the Colorado. So... Let's get Delaware detached. Texas classes are significantly faster. Oh, I was about to say, where are the enemy? There they are. Sailing right into our guns. Beautiful. 
well, once uh, my ships have stopped mucking about. Yeah, Delaware out of range, because of course her 20s are Mark III, not Mark V, although we will soon be able to upgrade to Mark Vs. in the way it hits at this range. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but when they do hit, it's going to cause some difficulties. One down. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting damage. Oh, what? Oh, oh my god, that poor destroyer. 162,699.8 damage. Ouch. Absolutely ouch. Colorado doing that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's not even remotely okay. That went well. <laughs> I mean, not for the Austrians. Um, but yeah, sure. Just sit there, at, no, not even able to get into range and get completely obliterated. Uh, Colorado do most of that in a single hit. Um, Delaware not scoring any hits. Yeah, the Texas class are mainly a vanity project. For those saying, oh, you're doing it. You're making it too easy. You've got loads of ship. Yeah, most of the... Battleships I have are actually Texas class or will be soon enough. And the Texas class are okay, they're better under the balance mod, but they're still using the Mark Threes. We haven't refitted them yet. They're not they're not as good as you might think. <laughs> it would have been a lot better off building more um more of our battle cruisers and heavy cruisers. Um we still maxed out on our shipyard the whole time. Um, which again is effectively a waste of money. Oh, yeah, there we go. A couple more uh, Detroit's in for refits. Um, have we got anything else finishing soon? Yeah, Massachusetts will be finished soon. Lots of repairs going on. A um, couple of refits. It's mostly repairs. But, uh, yep, that's another turn done. Now then. Maybe. Yeah, let's move them out. Let's just pop them right there. Uh, Gibraltar is way over capacity. I think that's because of the heavy cruisers. Um, 
However, what we could do Yeah, we've got any spare ships anywhere lying around? Sometimes we do. Here's a battleship and two battle cruisers down there in the Caribbean. You go and pop yourself here in the Western Med. Because I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's not the Western Med. We already have power projection there. It's the North Atlantic that we don't have the power projection, weirdly. Um, just go, yeah, where are you? Yeah, you, oh, you, go pop yourself, actually uh, head to Santa Cruz. We'll rebase you quickly. Uh, got anything else lying around? Yeah, we've got the, got the Florida here. Send her to off the coast with the destroyers. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see what the next turn brings. Yeah, Italy's content with <laughs> trying to take North Africa by the looks of it. Um. Moving in on former French possessions. Do, 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 do. Yep, blockading Austria-Hungary. Submarines. Okay, that's fine. Always get worried with submarines. I've seen so many people recently saying that, um, mines, what mines? You haven't gone anywhere near any mines. Jesus. Uh, you want a standard class? Sure. Yeah, we've taken Fiji. <laughs> oh, did it actually add that that one? See, it's nothing to do with being over capacity if that did work. It did. Yeah, they've got a light cruiser and they've got this new standard class. Cool. Um... The, not the Oregon. I think the other one we got for them was the Calcutta. So we'll give them the Bombay. Uh, we've got a lot of fights in the mid. But now that we've taken Fiji, I guess we could attack the Gilberts. Scotland! <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, but no, we're going to go for the Western Gilberts. First of all, that's up here. So we'll just move the fleet. <laughs> Again, apologies if you can hear noises in the background. That is my little one, who is at home with me today. Don't normally record on a Monday because of that, but... We shall see. The Constitution has found the Santa Doro Dorothea or Dorothea. <laughs> Interesting design. But very old fashioned looking to me. Let's go, Constitution. Oh, what? <laughs> I was about to say our accuracy is pretty poor at long range, and it is, but still scoring a couple of hits at pretty good range. Just the same. 25 kilometers, that's actually really impressive. Ugh. Yep, they're trying to run away. Not happening. Well, that was embarrassing for them. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more there. <laughs> that's just... That's just 
deleting them. Good God. <laughs> it's taken longer to load and unload the battle than it has to, <laughs> has to do the fight. Oh, my word. Right, there we go. Uh, and convoy. That one's not a very interesting fight, but this one could be. Puerto Rico, Hamilton, and Spokane, Spokane. Prosperina, and a bunch of light cruisers, and 11 transports. Right. Um, if you're wondering why I'm recording on a Monday, when I don't normally, the answer is actually pretty simple. Um, very unusually. <laughs> or at least it feels that way. Uh, very unusually. The um, game and the balance mod are actually working together. So the current version of the balance mod that I have is... For this version of the game, and that happens so rarely, and I know they're going to update it. In fact, they probably already have. But if I'm playing it and recording it, if I get a bunch of stuff recorded, then that's good. Because then I have a bunch of content. And I don't have to play it on vanilla. Because I'm going to be honest, um, playing the game on vanilla... After doing those two episodes, I am not a huge fan. Right, our action is pretty bad, so we're going to close in a bit, I think. Just until our accuracy goes up a bit. There we go. Oh, and of course, a turret. Oh, no, it fixed itself. Good. Good little turret. Main deck pens, colossal amounts of damage, A turret destroyed. Oh. 14 inch Mark V guns. Oh. With that super heavy triple base setup. Brutal. Brutal things. Oh my goodness me, that was a light cruiser, wasn't it? Just getting deleted. <laughs> Unfair. Well, with those escorts summarily dismissed, <laughs> let's go after the transport. Oh my goodness. That was horrific. Uh, load up the HE, please, everybody. Is that transport seriously going to the back of the line? Because it's damaged. <laughs> You're not a warship. <laughs> Just run away. Run away as fast as you can. Speaking of, I'm going to detach so that the Hamilton can get up to full speed. Yeah, I did it again. See a comment uh, a few videos ago now saying, Oh, you should do a 14-inch battle cruiser. 
Yeah, we've got one. The Puerto Ricos, they still work just fine. <laughs> yeah, they're not quite as fast. Um, only do 29 knots compared to the, Hamil uh, the Liberations doing 33 and a half or the uh, Lexingtons, which can do 34, I think. It might be faster than that, actually, now I think about it. But, um, yeah, we, we've got one. It works perfectly, perfectly fine. Goodbye to the uh, Spanish economy. And the remainder surrender. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, I, I've been thinking about alliances and how the devs might might solve it because alliances are the way they work at the moment they're, they're kind of annoying <laughs> like I get how they work I think they, they do work it's good enough and they have said they were working on them which is the only reason I'm talking about it um, I think you know if you been playing Dreadnoughts for a while um, back when they introduced, uh, was it France, Italy, and Austria-Hungary, um, the, uh, the, the, there was a hard-locked kind of alliance, um, and that was, that was it. Um, I like the sandbox dynamic, and obviously if you're going to have a long campaign, you don't really want all of the countries to get involved and get, you know, destroyed um, very quickly. <laughs> Again, apologies if you can hear things going on in the background. Right, um, so, yeah, the, what what can you do about alliances? Well, I'm not sure. I think the one thing they could do is have, um, and again, I don't know how you would do this, but if you are in an, ally an alliance, especially one of the urgent alliances, you can elect to leave it and peace out separately. I think that's important that that's in there. 
um, and that the AI can do that too. But you should get an alert saying, hey, you know. Oh, Sorry about that. Uh, we were insisting that YouTube Kids was uh, fixed. <laughs> right, is the escort just running away? The escort's just running away. Okay. Um, so I think there should definitely be an option to peace out individually. But if a country pieces out of your alliance, I'm thinking Russia, World War One here, um, you should get an event saying, hey, uh, country X has left the alliance and is peacing out of the war what do you want to do um and obviously there'd probably be an option for like do nothing um and then or you know you know we wish them well kind of thing um one for we're not very happy about that but okay and one for how dare you we're going to declare war on you um i think that might be interesting um, and for alliances, I think there should be a way for alliances to collectively end wars rather than each country piecing out individually. So the victory points for alliances in wars, rather than it being now individual wars between individual states, now being wars between alliances, much how um, Stellaris handles them. And the victory points from all of them get ad added up. I know the game can already do that. Um, and yeah, if you when you get to the peace deal, the uh, the whole alliance on both sides kind of kind of goes goes and does it. Obviously, if the player is involved, then the player gets to just choose everything. But um, you know, the rewards get divvied up, if that makes any sense. Uh, so if you just take the money, then the money gets split according to your victory point percentage out of the total. Um, and if you go for provinces, they have monetary value, so you could go, well, um, you know, I'm taking $300 million province, my share of the winnings was 400 million, so I get 100 million afterwards. Um, uh, Hopkins runs into a mine. There's lots of mines around all of a sudden. Um, Gilbert's goes off. It's good. Okay. So, so much going on. Britain is fighting on so many fronts. It is crazy. How's the naval invasion going? Oh, it's a short one. So we really only want another couple of turns. And then the... Uh, I mean, we've pushed the British out of the Pacific. Well, this side of the Pacific, more or less completely apart from New Zealand. Um, I don't think they have any small islands over on this side of the Pacific. Oh, they've got... Um, Really, Australia has those, but they still Britain still has Port Moresby. Interesting. Um, yeah, so there's not much apart from if we wanted to go and attack New Zealand or anything like that. But if we can get the British to collapse, then New Zealand will kind of pop out by themselves. Other places we could go attack, we could attack Georgetown. Um, potentially. Try and kick them out of uh, Guyana. Don't have any ships down there. Have anything spare? We're kind of using everything in the Caribbean at the moment. Oh, there's a battle cruiser there. Um, cruiser? No, we're pretty much using everything, aren't we? Yeah, that'll have to wait. Um, but you know, we've got <laughs> Britain blockaded. We've got Austria blockaded. 
We've got Spain blockaded with Germany's help. Thanks, Germany. Um, they don't really have many ships. They're just going to be slowly choked off. Oh, look at Britain's economy. That's sunk a lot since the last time I looked at it. Looked at it. France still kind of increasing, but mostly just struggling. Um, Spain doesn't have a lot of GDP to spare. Nor does Austro-Hungary. They're all really going to struggle with those small surface fleets to do anything. Um, let's hit up next turn, see what happens. Just need to continue those blockades. Oh, and we have China blockaded. I missed that. <laughs> okay, no. We're definitely getting some action. But yeah, I'm kind of kind of ready for this to end, or at least this this war. I think we've got time for another big war, one more big one. Um, but I can't, I'm kind of waiting. This one, I kind of want it to to finish now. I think we're getting there. We've been at war for a long time. Kind of just want to to focus on getting my ships refitted and repaired and all the rest of it um do you know what no i don't want to do it yet i want to get those um okay good i want to get those uh gilberts <laughs> then we'll start agreeing right the christabel coron Okay, the Huron taking up the duties of this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but this fight is going to be in the next one. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.